Let's start with introductions. Tell us okay. who you are and uh, what project you work on. So my name is uh, Rabi Mishra and I have been working with uh, the Heat Orchestration Project uh, since 2014. Uh, so it's, I have been the PTL for Heat uh, uh, from... I, I was PTL for Heat in Okata Saite and I have been a co-contributor for quite some time. Tell us about the Queen's Cycle. What did the Heat Project accomplish in the last six months? Okay. So, as I mean, we moved to a different architecture with heat, where we can have uh, uh, multiple engines in a distributed architecture. So, so basically, so basically, what was happening is earlier, if you have a stack which is a set of resources for different services, it used to be managed by a single engine. What we did is. Uh, we went to for a distributed architecture where it can be handled, the, res the resources can be created, updated by multiple engines uh, together at the same time. So, the, so that architecture was in place uh, since Newton release as a default, but uh, it was, we had a lot of uh, memory issues with that in terms of, uh, because the initial uh, implementation was not that efficient, so we did spend a lot of time in terms of optimizing that and uh, uh, we did a lot of uh, caching stuff so that uh, we don't load the uh, nested stacks in hit sense where a stack can have multiple st child stacks so we we used to load them into the memory now we don't do that so we improved the memory consumption of uh, large stacks uh, in hit and that and for that matter what happened is triple o and the cloud is now using the convergence architecture, the distributed architecture from last release. So we managed to reduce the memory footprint quite a lot. So that helped Triple uh, O to move to uh, the heat convergence architecture, distributed architecture. Uh, we did a lot of, I mean, I, I personally was involved in uh, a few of the activities, like we did uh, uh, create a new Tempest plugin in a new repo uh, for, to run our tests with. Uh, using Tempest. Earlier we had the plugin in tree, so there was a requirement to move them out of tree so that they can be gated with other projects as well. Uh, so we did, uh, I was involved, I, I did that uh, effort and then there were uh, some more things like uh, we, earlier when you, when you, you were creating a stack and you wanted to cancel that uh, process, like you were creating or updating a stack and you want to cancel that process, what used to happen is, uh, uh, the stack used to roll it back to the original state, which used to take a lot of time because there were certain resources which were already created. And then when you say that, okay, I'm canceling it, it has to roll back those resources to the initial state. But there was a requirement uh, from the field saying that I should be able to cancel the stack then and there. So it stops there, it doesn't move beyond that, or it doesn't roll it back. So we added a feature, cancel update, uh, cancel update and cancel create thing, so that you, without rollback, so basically what happens is, so if you are creating a stack or if you are updating a stack and you just pass on a new command saying it's in progress and you just go ahead and say that, okay, I'm canceling it, so it will stop there. So the resources that are in progress uh, in, in convergence architecture of the distributed architecture, they will complete, but there would be no new resources created or the earlier resources which were updated or created, they would not be going back. So that's something that we added uh, to it. Uh, we did add, uh, earlier we had uh, load balancer resources which were actually using the Neutron, I can go on, right? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. So we had uh, uh, load balancer resources which were actually using the Neutron API. So Octavia become a separate project, so we had to create all sets of resources uh, for Octavia. So basically now what would happen is if you want to use the load balancer stuff, you have you have a separate set of resource plugins to use. We implemented that in that last cycle. And uh, we did a few few more things in terms of the community goals uh, around uh, uh, policy stuff. Uh, uh, we did, uh, uh, I think, uh, we, oh how? We did add some few features to resource group, which is consumed by resource group uh, plugin, resource plugin, where uh, earlier you can blacklist a set of resources, but then you, they were permanent. So if you say that if you have 10 servers and you say I'm blacklisting the third server, 
then you cannot use that index after that. So now we added a feature so that you can reuse that index if you want to kind of. So that, that was a requirement from a lot of these uh, uh, users from the field. So we did all this uh, in, in the last cycle. We're at the end of the project team gathering week. What have you determined is your are your priorities for Rocky? We discussed about a uh, number of things. Uh, out of that, uh, API micro versioning. Currently, Heat has a single API uh, version, so we don't have micro versioning stuff like uh, other projects. We discussed about that. Uh, we discussed about uh, uh, some of the community goals in terms of uh, clearing up the mocks uses. Uh, moving to migrating to mock which is a community goal we discussed about that we discussed about uh, using OpenStack SDK uh, because we not currently talk to all the services using the Python client libraries so we discussed uh, whether we can uh, move to a single library which is the OpenStack SDK we, I mean there are a number of uh, topics that we have identified and we discussed about those but the actual implement whether we will be implement will be be able to implement all of those or not will depend on the bandwidth that we have available because we are a small team now with not many uh, projects uh, not many companies participating in the project uh, in terms of active contributions now so so we have identified around uh, eight or nine areas which we want to focus on um, but uh, the actual what we would be able to do we will probably be able to we want to do all of those but uh, it, what we will be able to complete would depend on the bandwidth well thank you for your time and uh, good luck getting home in the snow okay thank you Nick thank you Rick. thanks I'll see, see you next time. time cheers bye